Waterloo Region's Central Transit Corridor. A transformative opportunity to move people and shape our community. A fast-growing and innovating community, Waterloo Region is investing in enhanced transit to accommodate growth and the people living, working, studying and visiting our communities. A new rapid transit line is being planned that will connect Cambridge, Kitchener and Waterloo along the historic urban spine that connects these cities. The first phase of the Central Transit Corridor will open in 2017 and will include light rail transit, LRT, and an adapted bus rapid transit, ABRT, along a 23 station route. To help support this investment, the region is making two important changes to existing transportation networks. New local bus routes are being developed to enhance connections to the new rapid transit line. New investments are being made to paths and trails in the region to make it easier for people to walk or cycle. Together, these changes will improve the ways that we get around and how we access important destinations. Recognizing the importance of these investments, a planning process was initiated that examined how the line could help move people and shape the region's cities and neighborhoods. The Community Building Strategy creates the planning framework that identifies the initiatives and investments needed to support rapid transit and optimize the community benefits that will come with it. A highly collaborative process involving the region of Waterloo, the cities of Cambridge, Kitchener and Waterloo, along with hundreds of stakeholders and community members, the community building strategy is now complete. The strategy is guided by a shared vision for the Central Transit Corridor, a lively, well-connected and inviting corridor that demonstrates excellence in community building. To help us achieve this vision, a series of eight community building opportunities were identified, including ways to make it easier to travel throughout the region, foster new investment, create healthy, inclusive communities and enjoyable places to visit. At a more local level, place-specific initiatives tell us where improvements in our local communities are needed. These initiatives range in scope from the creation of new open space or streetscape improvements to the transformation of larger development areas. The community building strategy process also identifies ways to better integrate transit and land use so that transit networks can be more accessible to everyone. A land use and mobility framework was developed to help visualize this relationship. The framework includes the RT and iExpress corridor where stations and stops will exist. The station transfer zone where there are high levels of activity and the greatest number of transfers between different modes. A focus area where development should be directed and change is most likely to occur. Neighboring areas in the RT corridor, where the greatest potential for regional connectivity exists. And neighboring areas in the iExpress corridor, where development and public realm improvement can improve access to transit and important places. Finally, regional destinations, where it will be important to focus on accessibility and connectivity. The opportunities, initiatives and framework provide us with the foundation for ongoing planning, design and implementation of programs and investments. Implementing these ideas will take time and they'll need to happen in a phased and logical manner so that our neighborhoods, downtowns, avenues and employment centers can support healthy, transit-oriented communities. The community building strategy considers how transformation might occur over the short, medium and longer term in different areas in Waterloo Region. With the introduction of adapted bus rapid transit along Hespeler Road in Cambridge, there is an opportunity to plan for and invest in the streetscape to begin the transformation of this retail strip into a mixed-use transit-oriented corridor that is prepared for the eventual arrival of light rail. The introduction of the LRT ABRT station close to Fairway Road in Kitchener provides an opportunity to reconfigure the current street and surrounding buildings to create a more pedestrian-friendly live, work and shop environment including wider sidewalks, new street trees, pedestrian lighting, and enhanced crossings to the Fairview Station. Along with the arrival of LRT, investments in the public realm and streetscape at the intersection of Charles and Cedar Street in Kitchener can improve the pedestrian environment. There is also an opportunity here to position near-term development to contribute to walkability and placemaking. And over the longer term, to create a market festival street that animates uses along Cedar to link the Kitchener Market to the transit experience. The community building strategy has set out a strong vision 
defined opportunities, initiatives and implementation strategies for the Central Transit Corridor that will help guide new investment in the region. This is just the beginning of what we as a region can achieve. Together, we will shape growth in a way that makes our communities desirable places to live, play and do business on a global scale.